much love with you. Uh, our subject today is it's about uh, a multi-stage uh, reciprocating uh, gas compressor. Uh, first of all, you have to specify your uh, destination folder from here. Open MATLAB first. Okay, and then go to your destination folder from here. This is my, uh, this is the folder that I, I dropped in uh, my my model. So I have to go from this uh, menu. Okay, so I this is my uh, uh, multi-stage reciprocating compressor. Then I will click here and uh, sort by name and uh, group by type. So I will find. Uh, everything is in uh, its a proper place uh, double clicking or drag and drop okay okay double clicking on your model okay your model should be appear like this this is multi-stage uh, reciprocating gas compressor so we have suppose we have uh, two stages or more um, uh, first of all go to your model browser and check all of this okay so our model is prepared and now we have to uh, run it Set your simulation time into uh, zero, okay? And because this is a single point uh, running, um, double clicking and you will find your um, inputs. Okay, we can uh, control some operating conditions such as uh, intake temperature. What is your intake temperature? What is your uh, intake pressure? Okay, normally uh, atmospheric pressure. Uh, what is your deliver pressure? Uh, suppose it's a, uh, it's up to your design. You can control this uh, this panel. Okay, so um, because this is um, a pressure ratio. Okay, atmospheric uh, temperature. These, these are constant. We we will use this as a, a reference in the model code. So you have to enter these values. Okay. And we have uh, the difference is that is we have here uh, 12 working gases. Um, as you can see here, we have uh, helium, argon, neon. This is monoatomic gases, and this is diatomic gases, and we have uh, polyatomic gases. Suppose I am going for air to compress some air, and uh, we can control air mass flow rate. So suppose it's around uh, one kilogram per second. What is your stroke length? Okay, running speed normally around this. Uh, number of stages is it uh, three stages, two stages? It's up to your design. Uh, the model al allows you to control uh, uh, number of stages uh, and mechanical efficiency because this is a design model. So. We would like to would like to assign the mechanical efficiency. Quite interesting. Okay, so uh, under this this specific uh, uh, considerations, let's hit run and see. First of all, go inside. Okay, saving. Go inside. You will find this is your model uh, block. Double clicking here. And these are uh, the, your outputs. The code. This is your function multi-stage compressor and these are your outputs and these are your inputs so and this um, this is a code you have to uh, consider the pressure pressure is I'm not going in specific details because this is in you will find this in the literature and you will find that I, I combined um, the code in uh, BDF files you have BDF files uh, uh, concluding uh, they use the code in uh, this operation you can choose between uh, acting double acting or single acting as you can see here on or off you can choose suppose I'm going for for uh, for off that's it run and see but before uh, going for uh, model running you have to uh, assign this output signal these are your outputs uh, in the condenser uh, stroke temperature, pressure ratio, uh, stages pressure, um, indicated total power, break power, uh, first stage power, thermal losses, heat rejection, and um, free air delivery volume, swoop volume, 
and uh, cycle diameter and uh, thermal efficiency. Before going to these values, you have to uh, send these signals to data inspector in order to discover your results. All you have to do is to go here, okay, click on the signal, okay, and select going here, and here I stop the signal, okay, okay, click here, and uh, I stopped it, so if you click here, you can choose from here or from that stream selected signal to data inspector. Be sure that there is a small square here in order to send this signal um, signals to the data inspector for drawing figures, for uh, measuring your efficiency, uh, many, many parameters you can uh, show. Let's saving. Okay, all signals are were sent to data inspector. I, I will run my results. I'm running. This is running. Okay. So for off, there is no acting, single acting, and this, under this specification, you will find your outputs: uh, end conductor stroke, pressure ratio, uh, pressure per each stage. Because we have three stages, as you can see, we have three stages: total compressor power, break power, and uh, uh, thermal losses, efficiency, uh, cycle diameter, and so on. Suppose I, I I need to go for I want to run uh, I would like to run the model in uh, dynamic modeling, manual dynamic modeling. I will control it manually. Okay, so I will run uh, first run is in in, uh, in uh, for air for example. Let's go for data inspector. I will delete this uh, results. I will delete this results. Okay, okay. I will delete it, okay, because this is a single point. I need multi points because it's dynamic one. Delete all, okay, and let's go back again, okay. So I will go in here, double clicking this menu. I need this menu. Let's go for control minus or to shrink it a little bit, okay. So I will control my uh, my uh, results from here, okay. First of all, set your simulation time into infinity. Infinity, okay. Now, let's measure some uh, if dynamic effects. I will hit run, okay, hitting run and begin uh, to control, okay. Now our model is running. Suppose I will increase the pressure. I am increasing the pressure, okay, as you can see here, increasing the pressure. Data is changing, okay, changing. Move as a scroll, as a scroll arrows left or right, okay, increasing the pressure, okay. And suppose I need to increase mass flow rates, okay. That's increasing, moving arrows to the, to the right, increasing mass flow rates, okay, okay. I'm increasing, okay. And I will stop run, uh, simulation time, okay. So let's go inside and see our results. Okay. Okay, so you can uh, add more slots, for example, for, as you can see here. Okay. Uh, let's go for end, uh, end compressor stroke temperature, uh, pressure ratio, and thermal efficiency changes, uh, thermal uh, rejection, heat thermal losses, uh, total indicated power, okay, and uh, break power, and first stage power, okay, first stage power, and free air uh, delivery, okay, so this is the running for air, okay, I will close this one, let's go here, double clicking, going inside again, okay, Suppose I'm going for, uh, uh, for example, hydrogen, hydrogen compression, okay? And so I will hit apply and hit run, saving, okay? Hit run and uh, let's control back again. Suppose I need to decrease uh, the, uh, the pressure delivered by the compressor. I'm decreasing high pressure. Okay, let's decrease. 
okay and i will decrease uh, uh, mass flow rate down to uh, one kilogram per second okay okay and uh, running speed you can control many parameters uh, let's decrease the pressure again okay okay and uh, that's enough for now stop simulation time and let's see our results and you can compare your results on the same figure let's go here okay this is the first run for air and this is your second run the same you can add uh, end compressor compressor temperature because we decrease the pressure and mass flow rate uh, pressure ratio decreasing uh, thermal efficiency okay uh, thermal losses Q rejection on the same figure and uh, total indicated power okay decreasing brick power decreasing okay and uh, first stage power uh, free air delivery so you can compare your results between air and um, uh, uh, hydrogen so okay okay this is for uh, you can run your simulation time and realize uh, the effect on double acting or single acting too let's hit run here as you can see here let's go and click so we, now we are running uh, based on uh, double acting let's let's make some changes again i will uh, decrease increase the pressure let's increase the pressure a little bit okay pressure ratio is increasing okay okay and mass flow rate suppose uh, i will increase mass flow rates okay to uh, okay let's go for your for now i will close uh, this one so i close the, the second cylinder and stop simulation time and let's go here again and see our effects okay <clears throat> let's go for this is your third run so you can uh, okay let's compare for example uh, uh, parameters other parameters let's go for uh, pressure ratio for example let's add pressure ratio okay this is your third run with single acting and double acting changes and let's go for uh, thermal efficiency okay fade yes so uh, you can choose your uh, your favorite figures okay you can choose your favorite figures and send it to uh, send it to a figure here as you can see here so you can deal with your data send it to a figure click on this one and uh, it may take a uh, little bit of time and okay I, i'll close this one okay uh, these are your uh, your figures click here on model proper um, figure properties opening to okay blood tools so you can control your uh, legends you can control your uh, uh, captions you can control your fonts uh, x axis limit limits y axis limits okay y and x axis limits and fonts if you write something on the figure uh, you will find it okay you can write your caption you can control uh, line uh, width for example and and uh, suppose i'm going for this one increasing the line controlling uh, type lines okay it's a plotting toolbox so you can uh, control and uh, reform and make your uh, uh, changes uh, as you would like uh, finally i would like to say but but before leaving you can add a dynamic modeling um, automatic dynamic modeling by adding replacing these by adding uh, uh, sources from signal builder so you can add signal builder here 
okay you can add signal builder uh, you can add these signals um, uh, this input as a signals here so you can control uh, pressure atmospheric pressure as a signal and run it with a proper time in infinity or hour or whatever seconds and you will find your results uh, appear uh, uh, with respect to the time uh, limitation also you can find you some results you can find it here okay suppose i'm going for uh, yes your uh, high pressure low pressure temperature okay this these parameters you can uh, you can send outputs to to matlab workspace by clicking here model explorer and going multi-stage going here and you can select your output parameter for example uh, suppose a brick power and go to your description and save final value uh, to base workspace indicate power hit apply save final value q i'm sorry okay heat rejection uh, fad you can set uh, whatever you'd like uh, to thermal efficiency to your uh, uh, MATLAB workspace so you can find your uh, output um, as a result uh, uh, be here uh, thank you very much for your interesting in our model don't forget to like share and uh, subscribe uh, thank you very much